Hello, my name is Yemi and I would love to invite you to join me on the Jackpot Code. The Jackpot Code is your ultimate guide to legally migrating from Nigeria to your dream destination. If you desire to Jackpot, we've got you covered. We'll bring you expert advice and insider tips to help you navigate the rules, routes and resources required to make that dream a reality. Join me this Sunday at 5 p.m. on the Wimo Network on YouTube. The Jackpot Code is brought to you by Wimo Consults in partnership with the Migrant Resource Center, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. Wow, welcome, welcome. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, where's my face? Where's my where am I? There I am. Okay. I think I'm ah, there I am. <laughs> okay, welcome everyone. Welcome. This is the Jackpot Code. This is Jackpot Code. We're here again as usual every Sunday, 5 5 05 p.m. Uh, to talk about Jackpa, the rules, the routes, and the resources. And of course, we have experts with us uh, who are going to be sharing one or two tips on um, on the information you need to have if you desire to Jackpa. Like we always say, Jackpa is not the problem. Is ensuring that you have the right information before you tap out, so you will not have to tap out, you know, as the case might be. And of course, the more information you have, the better decisions you will be able to take. So it's been an awesome one. Thank you so much for joining me again. This is the last Sunday in the month of April, our month of special editions. We've come to the last episode, and it's a very exciting episode today. As you can see, we're talking about Nigerian, German, jobs, migration, and reintegration. It's a huge, huge department um, of uh, between Nigeria and Germany coming together to create this. And it's an awesome one because there's so much information in that package that we're going to be hearing today. Our special guest is here with us already in the green room. Is it? I think the room is brown now, or is yellow. <laughs> it's in the room waiting to join us on this special episode. If you're just joining in, this is the first time you're joining us, please click the subscribe button. Click the notification button, like and share. And of course, if you have, uh, if you you know, an old timer like us, always watching. Thank you so much for joining us on this special episode. And also, when I'm excited, I'm super excited about this episode because uh, for those of us who are interested in maybe Germany is your area of expertise. Hey, you get to learn some more things. And of course, those who are already in the country, um, in Germany, if you're watching this, hey, one or two things you can learn from this as well. Of course, those of us who are planning to extend their hands back to Nigeria. So coming back in, you know, so much you can learn from this episode. Um, there's so many other episodes we've done before now. It's right there in this on this channel, just down there. You can always click on any of those videos to watch previous episodes. Fantastic episode we've had. I'm sure today's episode as well will also be very exciting. Our guest is ready. I know she's already warming up to come. So I'm going to just bring in our guest right away. Um, I'm going to just introduce our guests immediately. Uh, let me let me find. You know when you're having to punch and punch people into into the screen. The beautiful thing about the social media. All right, well, hey, there you go. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Sandra is in the building. Happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yamin. Good to be here. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Sandra is the team lead for Nigeria German Center here in Lagos. Um, fantastic. That I've, oh my goodness, I love everything about the center. I love what they do. I love the environment and where they are positioned. For those of us who do not know, the Nigeria German Center here in Lagos, it's just by the end, before you go for, I keep saying, before you go for your passport, you must pass these people. You have to come in and go ask questions, learn to learn something, so much to learn, so much to learn. Thank you, Jeff, Sandra, for coming in. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I will confess, when I saw your surname, I had to make sure I just soft better when I get to the surname. So please help me pronounce your surname, please. Okay. My name is Sandra Vermaten. Vermaten. It's, a, it's actually a Belgian name. So a Dutch oh, name. Oh, Belgian, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Um, okay. So fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to have to do a lot of rehearsal to be able to get that name quite right. All right. So um, we're going to go straight into it. Um, this is the Jackpot Code. We're about the rules, the routes, and the resources, um, information, basically, for anybody who is considering um, Jackpot. I'm sure you are very familiar with the Jackpot. What do you think about the concept of Jackpot? <laughs> well, well, uh... Well, first of all, I think, uh, you know, migration is as old as, uh, you know, mankind. I mean, that's how in the end the world got populated because man migrated from Africa. 
uh, you know, as we all know, from Africa to the rest of the world. So that's 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 at the very beginning of, of humanity. So uh, to some extent, migration is part of us as, as human beings. And, um, uh, you know, our, our program and the, 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 the program that we run that I'll be talking about today um, is based around the concept of uh, migration as a right, as a human right. Um, and so uh, JAPA is, is in, 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 that, in that sense, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a human right uh, uh, as well. Um, but um, the, the, I think you already made the point. What's important is that, you know, since, uh, you know, biblical or even pre-biblical times, you know, yes. something changed. And so, um, you know, a lot of uh, government states, borders, uh, different um, uh, um, rules and regulations are in place. Uh, besides, of course, the overall universal declaration of human rights. And so when we move from one country to another, um, that means that we have to follow certain rules and regulations in order exactly. Not, to, exactly. To at risk, not to be at risk or, and also to be able to enjoy um, the advantages or the reasons why uh, people uh, you know, decided to migrate uh, to start with. So, um, as, so as not to run the risk, as you say, to Japada. <laughs> exactly. So you don't run the risk of Japada. And there's nothing wrong, really. Like you said, I mean, this is just fact. It's all human nature. Um, leaving your country, moving to another country. There's so many reasons that could make anybody want to. It's just that here, it become a trend. And that's what we call it, Japa. You know, and when you say Japa, everybody just kind of... And again, it's becoming a bit of a stigma now. When you say, oh, those Japa generation, look at the only people that want to Japa, you know, but... I mean, Japa is just a basic human uh, um, element. All right, so I want to ask you straight on. Um, tell us about your work at the Nigerian German Center here in Lagos. Let's 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 understand what you do. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Yes, so the uh, Nigerian German Center for Jobs, Migration, and Reintegration uh, is um, uh, built on a partnership between the Nigerian and the German uh, governments. Um, and it's uh, implemented by, by GIZ on behalf of the uh, Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany. Um, uh, we work in very close collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Labor. Uh, you already mentioned our office in, uh, in Lagos, that's uh, at Obalende, just next to the passport office. So before you get your passport, you should find out how to migrate and you know what opportunities uh, are, are out there and both abroad as well as in in Nigeria. So what we do um, is uh, we, we have three, we run uh, three of these centers, one in Lagos, one in Abuja, and one in Benin City in Edo State. And uh, we provide social and economic integration and reintegration advice to um, un and underemployed youths, uh, IDPs, and returning migrants. Um, basically anybody who uh, walks into the center as in is in and is in need of uh, ad advice on uh, career development on uh, job opportunities but also counseling job counseling um, that uh, that aims to um, uh, identify those areas um, or those opportunities um, that lie within each individual in order to um, you know get um, um, get access to um, a higher income. Um, you know what we what we and how do we do that? Uh, so besides the the counselling, um, we collaborate uh, closely with a wide variety of public and private uh, sector um, uh, service providers, training providers, and others um, to provide different types of short term uh, skills trainings. Uh, as well as uh, support for those that want to start up uh, their own business. But we also provide um, advice on uh, regular migration to different countries, um, to Germany, how to study in Germany, and uh, in collaboration with the MRC, the Migrant Resource Center of the Federal Ministry of Labor, we provide advice on um, you know, uh, anything related to employment, uh, both uh, here in Nigeria as well as uh, abroad, and whenever we don't have the necessary um, know-how in-house, 
we make sure um, that uh, we, we can refer people to other organizations. Uh, so we have a very wide network of um, both government and non-government um, agencies and institutions that provide different types of advice, basically with one goal, um, to get better people into uh, decent work uh, and to create, to support the creation of uh, more and better jobs uh, in Nigeria, as well as to promote um, regular migration and prevent irregular migration. So that's it in a nutshell. Awesome, indeed, a nutshell. <laughs> indeed, a nutshell. All right. So um, I want to. I did. I did ask if um, I wanted. To, the next question I want to ask you is um, um, now a lot of um, a lot of um, what's the word now a lot of um, people you you um, you provide your services to um, are they are they people in Nigeria or those who are ready to migrate or those who are outside the country because you did mention training possibilities you mentioned so i just wanted to clarify that a little bit please so what we do is we implement a 360 degree approach to migration so that means we provide services to both those that want to stay in nigeria those leaving and those coming back um but the majority of people coming through the center are actually in search of opportunities here in nigeria but um, let's say that about 20%, um, 20%, 25% of those coming to the center are interested in migration, per se. OK, OK, all right. So um, that's fantastic because. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I thought you wanted to say something. Okay, fine. All right, good. So what I was uh, was um, I think I lost my my uh, video there um, coming up now. I'm just gonna just work on that. Okay, here I am. Yes, there. I am. Okay, so uh, I wanted to find out. Uh, so the next question I want to ask is about this um, um, again because it's international. The WHO red list that came up um, recently. Well, it trended here recently. I'm sure it's been on since January or February thereabouts. And he spoke about um, you know WHO list for health workers, health workers um, putting Nigeria is on the list and so on. And government, except by government to government collaboration, can they be able to come to an agreement regarding the health worker exchange, as the case might be? So I wanted to just find out. Now here we are, Nigerian German. Um, I'm sure we have such um, such collaborations with Germany and Nigeria. Uh, regarding labor exchange, what what do you have any any such um, you know such indications such that you can share with us? Well, I mean, uh, actually, th there is no uh, bilateral labor agreement um, between um, uh, Nigeria and Germany. Um, um, there's no bilateral labor agreement between Nigeria and the UK uh, either, or, or the United States. So um, uh, going forward. Uh, I think that's uh, definitely something uh, that might be, uh, you know, that needs to be addressed. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, the MRC and the, and the Federal Ministry of Labor are also working on that. Um, uh, so, um, but of course, that doesn't mean that there's no uh, labor migration, but it's just that it is not, um, I, I think I hear an echo. Um, uh, not it, from here. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's your end. It's not from. Okay. It's not. But go on. Um, go on, please. Just go on. Yes. yes. So um, about the bilateral labor agreement. So at the moment there is no bilateral labor agreement, but of course there is migration legislation, regulation, and programs yes. in each of these destination countries. But uh, to get back to the question about uh, health workers, um, I mean there's a global concern around um, the provision of. Let me turn this thing off. Yes, uh, about uh, uh, the availability of, of, of health workers. Uh, of, uh, there is actually a scarcity of health workers in many developing uh, uh, nations. And um, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're aware that, uh, I mean, Nigeria is also one of these countries that there is actually a, um, a, a crisis in the, in the public uh, health sector. Yes. Um, 
So I think that is what the uh, WHO um, aims to uh, address to prevent uh, the depletion of the public uh, health service and calling for, um, because um, I mean, whether the WHO puts, um, I mean, all these lists are, they are indicative, you know, they are not um, um, preventing anybody from migrating, but in any case, it's a, in a strong indication that uh, there needs to be a regulatory framework or that according to the WHO, there should be a regulatory framework for labor migration of health workers. So, um, um, I mean, Germany has um, uh, um, uh, labor agreements um, uh, for specifically also for health workers, for example, with the Philippines, um, uh, which is a so-called uh, triple win um, uh, migration agreement um, that also that um, involves that also looks into the working conditions of the migrant workers once they get uh, to Germany uh, and also looks at uh, the opportunities for circular uh, migration. So making it easier for, for people to uh, come and go back to then maybe after a uh, number, uh, number of years uh, come back to work uh, in, in the country of, um, of destination. So um, these, are, these are things, I think there's been huge uh, progress you know, globally. Um, uh, in terms of uh, the development of these of these concepts, and um, um, because of the, the discussions around uh, um, you know the, the gaps in uh, in the labor market, also in the high income countries, I think that uh, that discussion will result sooner or later in many more of these uh, uh, bilateral labor agreements that will regulate that will regulate and uh, labor migration and also offer uh, more opportunities for regular migration. I love that. Thank you so much. Fantastic. I love every bit of your answer because the truth is um, some of these issues need to be talked about. Um, at some time when you hear a lot of when the red list came up, it was like a panic attack in the system of a lot of people who are trying to jack by using the routing and then being able to just understand it's not anything out of place. It's only logical for you not to empty all your health workers into another country. What happens to your own? You need to have people there. And it's only logical. So I, I think I really understand and I appreciate um, the communication. Let's get on to um, the NGC, okay? And the Nigerian German Center, Lagos job, when it comes to the element of, um, again, migration. You mentioned opportunities of migration. Um, um, that's to and fro. You are a migrant as well at some point. <laughs> okay, so coming into Nigeria, as I was going out of Nigeria, I mean, you were posted here, yeah, more or less, I think. You know, so, you know, you have those yeah, I came here voluntarily. You came voluntarily? Wow, fantastic. Okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you for loving us. Where we are running away, you are coming in. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, and that's the way it is across every nation. Not that everybody doesn't love their country, that is where. So we just, you know, I want to experience other nations when they come to other places and then and so on and so forth. All right, so I just want to know um, the migration package for the, um, you know, um, the NGC as it concerns um, people. And I want to just add this as well. You have people who are in this country who are running jobs, like you said, you know, job, running jobs outside the country without leaving Nigeria. And then they got to points where maybe they are parent company where they're working um, for in the Germany or wherever in Europe and requires them to come to those countries. Um, share with us your um, the NGC's um, interpretation of this uh, this area. You know, let's let's hear a bit of your work in this for those kind of people. Okay, so um, in terms of uh, advice on regular migration, um, yes. people come into, people come into our centers. Um, for counseling, but we also organize regular information events. Um, we just, um, uh, part of our team was in IFE uh, at the University of IFE just uh, last week uh, in, mm. to get the MRC colleagues um, to speak to uh, uh, future graduates about um, regular migration, so basically providing them information on um, where to actually gets access to the right information if you do want to um, uh, travel or if you want to study abroad. Um, so I just want to underline that, you know, we are not 
are providing visas. We are not a uh, travel agency. We are not. Um, Please say any very well. Tell them. Tell them. Say very well. <laughs> uh, we also don't. We also don't um, look for jobs for people abroad. But we provide uh, bona fides. Um, we provide information on the channels where you can get that information. I mean, and uh, nowadays. Um, um, for almost every government service, for many government services, there are fake websites uh, that's operated by uh, commercial agents um, that provide, let's say, untrustworthy information. So for those people that are maybe not aware of uh, how to identify um, government information, I think it's important to, to be able to, you know, to differentiate. Um, then uh, I think very often uh, a lot of the information available is also uh, written in a language that might not be very user friendly. So I think what we try to do is also um, uh, raise awareness, try to translate um, into, let's say, more um, a user friendly language, um, what the requirements for, uh, um, for migration, for different types of migration are. So basically try to um, uh, clarify, um, let's say the labyrinth of, um, of, of regulations that is, that is out there for people because um, ultimately um, it is absolutely possible to, uh, yeah, if you follow the, 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 those rules, it is, it is possible with the rights. Um, uh, references and backgrounds, um, you know, to get access to some of these opportunities. So, um, yeah. But uh, I think you know something is something is something about practice making perfect. I think um, you know, working with documents, preparing yourself. You know, it's not something that happens one day. You know, overnight. So we support people mm -hmm. with this. Yes, I think you've, you've done quite, I mean, you've said quite a lot of things. I mean, there are people who are out there who are taking advantage of, again, desperation of people, again, trends, um, the hives and so on to mislead people. And some people getting, you know, into the hands of some wrong information. Um, I think it's important, like you said, very important for you to be able to know exactly where to go, um, to be able to get the right information. Um, again, it's not against Jack Parry. It's providing the right information to take the right decision. Um, and one of the things that we try to do on this program also be able to educate them on um, what you need to know before you take the step of JAPA, because when you get to those countries, the laws of those countries begin to activate immediately you get into their land. I thought I was in Nigeria. I didn't know they used to, that's not gonna work, it's jail straight, you know. We don't want anybody to go to jail for going the wrong way, but you must be able to have the right information. One of those places to get those kind of information to come to the NGC, and that's our advocacy. Um, if you want to go to Germany, fantastic country, brilliant country. Oh my goodness, look at Sandra, she's looking brilliant already. Fantastic country, just like me too, you know, this is my German, you know, brilliant country, get to know about the nation, understand the way the nation was before you carry your bag and go. It's not enough for you to have the job, it's also important for you to know how to live the life in the country of your destination as the case is right. We're gonna go for a quick break, Sandra. Um, that's a word from um, MRC, our partners on this program as a Migrant Resource Center here in Lagos. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Um, just a quick word from them. The National Electronic Labor Exchange is a unit in the International Labor Migration in the Employment and Wages Department of the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. The centers are information hubs for the public to meet demands of employment, referral, labor rights, recruitment advice, support, and all employment-related issues. With the aim of educating and enlightening the public on workplace and employment issues, as well as ensuring protection and decent work, our target audience are students, all categories of migrants, and the general public. For more details, email us on jobcenterlagos at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, a National Electronic Labor Exchange, YouTube, a National Electronic Labor Exchange.
Hello, my name is Yemi and I would love to invite you to join me on the Jackpot Code. The Jackpot Code is your ultimate guide to legally migrating from Nigeria to your dream destination. If you desire to Jackpot, we've got you covered. We'll bring you expert advice and insider tips to help you navigate the rules, routes and resources required to make that dream a reality. Join me this Sunday at 5 p.m. on the Women Network on YouTube. The Chapa Code is brought to you by Wimbo Consults in partnership with the Micro Resource Center, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. Um, yes, welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Um, I'm still here with Sandra, um, and we're talking about, yes, here you are. Welcome back, Sandra. <laughs> All right. We're talking about the Nigerian German um, Center in Lagos, uh, what they are working on and how they do what they do. I'm going to ask about trainings, a bit more about trainings. Um, and the angle I'm coming in is um, the element of the fact that um, the, because it's trend, a lot of people are just focused on getting that job in the destination country they're going into without much about what alternative plans do they have in terms of another kind of skill that they can have to, you know, to shock us as well, to brace for eventualities when they get there. We're hearing now of a lot of people who go through health um, to maybe the UK now saying that getting there, they haven't got as much job shifts for them to do, aka they can't pay them the regular monthly, but of course that's the problem, but then what do you do? You've closed down your shop in your country. You've got to the other side now. You are practically on your own. Um, and, you know, what, how do you checkmate that? When you have no back end skills that you can fall back on. And I think that your job trainings um, helps to equip the individual here now. Um, even if you're thinking of going, you have something handy to, to do. Let's talk about the trainings that you I were working with with the MRC. Tell us more about that with regards to a positive building here now before you get into Jack Barry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, well, I mean, we have a very wide variety of, of trainings and services that actually address different challenges that we identify after the job counseling. So some people, um, I mean, many young people, uh, graduates, don't have the necessary um, working experience. So they find it difficult to uh, get in, invited for interviews because they don't have the necessary uh, experience. So we, we support them um, by providing internships. Um, we find employers where they get employed for a number of months, uh, after, which, after which many of them end up either being employed by those employers or end up finding jobs elsewhere. Um, um, many... Uh, some 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 of our beneficiaries um, uh, looked for jobs for looked for a job for a year for years, uh, but did a CV training and um, after uh, and some uh, employability and improved on their employability skills. You know, what is it actually like working in a company? How are you expected to behave? Um, so uh, with with. And, and this is not something that takes, it, it could just takes one or two days. Um, with those additional skills, I mean, we have a lot of people that actually manage to find a job afterwards. But of course, not for everybody, it's uh, easy like that. Um, um, what we see is that uh, a lot of people are employed, but um, you know, they, 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 they don't manage to generate sufficient income uh, for themselves and their families. So what we try to do is to look at um, um, demands in the labor market, um, uh, um, job opportunities or uh, income generating activities that um, uh, in, in, in the, that generate higher sources, higher revenue. So that um, while by upskilling the person, um, by upskilling the person through a variety of short term training, so. At some point, we had between 50 and 70 different types of trainings that focus on different sectors. So that's from those from catering, fashion, electronics, uh, construction, um, um, agriculture, um, ICT trainings. Um, that also vary with a lot of variation from basic computer skills to developing websites, 
um, you know, uh, data science, things like that. Basically, what we, what we try to do is to develop a portfolio in cooperation with numerous partners um, that can that can respond to you know what people are genuinely interested and passionate about, because I think that uh, this is a very important factor. On the one hand, uh, identifying the demand for certain uh, skills mm -hmm. and services in the labor market, but combining that with the interest of the person, because if you're not um, happy, uh, you know, doing a particular job, or you don't feel, um, um, or, and, it, and it's not generating the resources, the revenue required, I mean, there's a very low probability that you will keep on doing it, or that you will even be successful. So, so what, what we've seen is that approach, that this approach, the individual approach, um, um, uh, on the one hand, on the other, also rec recognizing the the, um, the fact that uh, for many people in Nigeria, you need more than one job to survive. Um, and as you just mentioned, in the UK, in, for some people, that's exactly the same. So, you know, being able to generate different streams of income, but still based on that same principle of interest and hopefully passion uh, for what you do. Um, you know, that's actually the way... I think the, the road to success. So whether you now do that in Nigeria or abroad is, um, is I think, of secondary importance. Um, uh, it's also sure that uh, if you want to migrate, uh, you know, having a resume, having working experience in specific fields, in areas that are also in high demand in those other countries, I mean, will also help a lot. Um, if... It, yeah, so, um, yes, I think I've answered your question. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're muted. Sorry, here we go. This technical thing is there. I thought you were still going on. There's so much to still hear. I want to just hear more. Okay, so um, just to, um, again, ask, um, the training that you um, offer, are they paid training or is it... Um, or is sponsoring the trend? Is it free training or is paid training? Um, well, I mean, some of the trainings, the trainings that are offered by NGC are free of charge. Um, and we also refer um, to trainings that are offered by the Federal Ministry of Labor that are equally uh, free of charge. Um, but we also have information about um, other opportunities out there because um, um, I think... Um, you know, it, it's obvious that the, the demand, the demand far outweighs um, the offer in terms of uh, the availability of free uh, trainings. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's, I think it's very profound because, um, again, um, you have the training, you can only just do as much as you can really with support of the systems. Um, you have the sort of trainings that you would take that it's practically free. I'm sure that people, when people come in, uh, which is what we want to do, be able to come to the source and get equipped, get information, get information, so you can decide. A lot of the struggles, um, let me say this loud and clear, a lot of the struggles that people are going through is for lack of information. It's not life isn't so difficult, but you don't know how to do what to do you're going to be struggling over a lot of things that shouldn't make you struggle. Look at uh, MRC, by the GIZ, uh, can I say the NGC, there's a lot of acronyms there, um, mm -hmm. um, collab collaborations that makes a lot of sense, helping to equip people. Um, again, I would have emphasized, like she also did emphasize, before you go to get your passport, try and come through that gate. It's just before the entrance to the passport office at Ikoi, I've come through the gate, go straight to the MRC, and of course, I'm sure you will see Sandra there herself uh, with the uh, NINGC as well, to get information that would help you take the right decisions. It's all about taking the right decisions. There are websites to go, there are structures, government structures. I remember the first time I walked up into the MRC, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the source, a hub of information. This is a hub. I never I passed through going to the um, Ikoi, um, immigration, uh, the immigration office there to get passport or do something. I never even 
one through that gate. So much information out there that I think that a lot of people need to be equipped with so that you can take informed decision. I think that's fundamental um, to what we have been saying um, since we started the discussion. I want to find out again. So I finished the training. For those who are doing trainings, and, um, you mentioned, um, you know, the, for the hands-on trainings, uh, some of them are not necessarily, they're more intellectual. I mean, you mentioned data analysis, data science, project management, all those things are all a bit, uh, you know, I hope that, you know, so. But uh, some other trainings require them for those who would like to just get up and start the process. Um, do you have funding system for startups um, on such trainings, when they are done with such trainings, any such package? Uh, so, just to recap, so uh, the trainings we provide are free of charge. And in uh, some cases, uh, we've been providing startup tools at the end of the training. Uh, at the same time, we've now also la launched a pilot project uh, for a revolving fund um, to provide startup tools at the end of, of the, the trainings provided by the uh, at the Yaba Skill Center of the Ministry of Labor. So where the, the idea is that uh, once you finish the training, you get access to the startup tools and you pay them back um, in installments, basically, so that this money goes back into the fund. Fantastic. Where That's good. Others can now benefit from um, uh, once they finish their training. And we implemented that pilot project in cooperation with the Federation of Informal Workers of Nigeria. So they would also provide longer term support. Um, to those people that start up their business. Because what we see is that, I mean, there are so many different um, issues that need to be challenges that need to be addressed, for, ranging from uh, employability um, uh, skills to um, technical skills, um, 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 access to finance. Uh, how do you actually manage uh, a business, entrepreneurial skills? But then also what happens once you start uh, implementing, once you start either working or uh, running your company, um, a, a lot of people need longer term support um, in terms of building their network, uh, building a customer base, um, you know, doing digital marketing, uh, making sure that, you know, um, not just in the first six months, but two, three years down the line, that company, that small business is still running and hopefully also employing, uh, employing other uh, employing others because, uh, um, you know, we, we don't want to get to, um, we don't want to contribute to a situation where um, we um, will have thousands and thousands of one-man companies, uh, ultimately mm -hmm. um, uh, an economy of thriving businesses that employ, you know, um, several people. I think that's, uh, that's the way forward. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. I love, I love that. I love that so much. Um, you mentioned the whole, the whole spectrum of business um, start of all the realities the business startup would would face. And the truth about it is, I think a lot of people, um, a lot of people need to understand the process. And the process is you need to be skilled. You need to have the exposure, the experience, the network. Uh, for you to succeed within the process. And if any of those processes gets hindered, then reality comes, challenges begin. Uh, exactly, exactly. You go, you know, you go, you know, progress becomes inverted instead of going upwards. Yes, I think that's so far. I want to, so um, the last question I want to ask you, it's about your reintegration um, plan. Um, these are people, it's across spectrum. You have those who are refugees coming in, um, in troubled areas who are coming in um, to the nation. You have people who are coming back home um, I'm done. I want to just come back and just, um, uh, you know, start off something. And you have those who are extending their hands back home, fund-wise. I mean, our government has said countless of times the amount of money sent in by the diaspora into the nation is quite huge. And now with the jackpot syndrome too, much more money is going to come. People want to set up something in Nigeria, want to do, you know. So tell us about your reintegration package. How does this work? Um. Well, I mean, you already mentioned a number of scenarios, um, but um, um, we support um, um, those that, sorry, um, the potential returnees, so the, those that are still abroad, but want to do Japada, want to uh, come back uh, to Nigeria. So we provide them with information about, you know, do, do, 
counseling, provide them with counseling, basically look at in the individual advice that we can provide them with in order to um, make their return easier um, and uh, smoother because um, and less costly, uh, if possible. Um, uh, obviously, there are uh, those that benefit from, uh, uh, I mean, there are different categories, people that, that, uh, coming, that are coming back uh, voluntarily from the European Union um, sometimes benefit from um, certain support uh, packages um, that can be used to, to um, develop their businesses. Um, and uh, we provide them with uh, complementary support in terms of, uh, if needed, um, temporary housing, psychosocial support, um, as well as um, uh, support to set up their business or, um, you know, um, to help them to get to get a job, um, both by through the, through these um, internship programs and and uh, also with the help of uh, HR companies and of course our colleagues uh, with the MRC. All so there's right, a wide awesome. wide Thank variety you. of services. Yes. Yes, that's that's profound. That's profound. I wanted to also find out, um, you know, if for those people who are abroad currently or i don't know in germany right now um is there anything that you do to you know to help is there any such relationship you have for those who are in um who are in germany at the moment is there any such for those who have some challenge or issues um that they will need support for is there any such is there anything that has to do with them at all i mean the well i mean on the one hand there are organizations in germany reintegration advisors in every local government, there are reintegration uh, advisors that can actually support uh, with questions or or link them actually with us. Um, you can also reach out to us. They could also reach out to us through our um, page on Facebook, Mac Nigeria, M A C Nigeria, um, and uh, and and ask for a counseling session. Um, I mean, we provide other resources uh, as well. So, and we can link them up or provide them with information on, on how to go about um, coming back to Nigeria. Very good, because um, a lot of people, that's um, the angle, and angle they need a lot of help, because we know, um, reality check, um, you leave Nigeria or your country and go to another country of destination, it's not going to be a roller coaster. Um, you're going to have to face the reality of adjusting to the system. I mean, about five or six episodes ago, we had a psychologist come in, Dr. Saz, who really dealt a bit more into the psychology of uh, Jap a Japara. You know, somebody Japari. <laughs> I mean, the word has come to stay now anyway. So uh, we could just make derivatives of the word. So, I mean, he spoke about that extensively, the psychology of, uh, of somebody traveling, migrating. Um, get into the host country, a lot of realities on ground. So it is also important um, as much as we can to hammer it into the minds of those who are going, getting there, what is the support system available um, to uh, migrants in, uh, you know, in those countries? How do you adjust to the system? What are the support mm -hmm. systems available? And I think what you said, and I'm very profound, so you have people, institutions who are in Germany who are able to um, refer um, maybe you have people who are saying, you know, I want to come back home, but I just need to know where can I go to when I get to Nigeria that can help me to settle in into the country. I think that's very, very profound. That's very profound. What are you looking at going forward? What's the project ahead of NGC? What's up? What's, what's the next battle you're trying to fight? <laughs> Anything coming up? <laughs> um, well, I think... Uh, uh... You know the, the the main the main the main battle that we are fighting is is of course providing as services um, to uh, as many people as possible to uh, anybody who comes to the center. Uh, we look for opportunities for them, and you know, keeping uh, working on strengthening uh, our cooperation with the uh, uh, Nigerian government and ensuring that uh, you know these centers. Uh, don't that people can access these services not just uh, in uh, Abuja, Lagos, and um, and and Benin City, but uh, uh, also online and um, in other areas in states in surrounding states. I mentioned Ife, 
but we also have activities in other states in the southwest, but also in Delta. And um, um, very soon, the, there will be a new MRC center in Nyanya, um, which is in Asawara mm -hmm. State. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, you know, making sure that uh, the information uh, is out there and um, I think continuing to build capacity and uh, contributing to normalizing, uh, normalizing migration. I think um, that's, um, mm. that's what this is about. Um, you know, migration should not be um, a story of pain. Uh, it has to be a, a story of hope. And uh, I think that's... Yes. Uh, and of and and of decent work, and I think that is what we want to want to achieve. And if you want to uh, see some, uh, for those people that are watching, uh, if you want to see some videos of our of our beneficiaries um, that have gone through the program, you can do that on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, uh, MAC 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 Nigeria, nice. and uh, lots of okay. different. Um, 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 videos of our beneficiaries that you can see there that can give you a real deep insight on how these processes uh, work. We lost, we lost, we lost. Okay. Um, sorry, we lost actually a bit of what you said. We kind of lost. Um, you mentioned. Really? So you didn't hear what I said? No, I think I think my last uh, the the last thing I wanted to tell you is to encourage people to to check out our YouTube channel uh, MAC Nigeria, okay. uh, where they can um, 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 hear from the horse's mouth, as they say, uh, you know right. what gonna, this program okay. is all about. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I don't know what's going on. There's been a bit of a break in um, your last statement, but we got it. YouTube MAC Nigeria, yes. MSC Nigeria, fantastic. There's so much to watch there. There's so many people um, who have been through the um, M the NGC MRC package, and it's there are so many testimonies out there for you to watch. Um, we've had uh, the the head of the MRC in Lagos uh, come on the show a couple of times in the past. Again, maybe sometimes. So we'll have the combo. You and the MRC live here, and we just have this together thing and make it all exciting. All right. Thank you so much for your time, um, Sandra. Thank you so much for sharing your moments with us today. We're so happy to have you. And I trust more grace your elbow, many more conquests. Like we said, we need to make migration normal. We need to make it normal. And, and that means that it shouldn't trend. Migration should not trend. It should not be, oh, everybody's moving now. Let's go. No, 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 no. When there's trend in migration, there is crisis somewhere. Something is wrong. You know, so we shouldn't have such situation. We should just have normalcy in migration. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let me let you go so you go do the other things you gotta do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank bye you. Bye. Bye. All right. Awesome time we've had today with Sandra right there at the NGC, the Nigerian German Center. It's been an awesome time we've had. So much to talk about, so much to share. And there's so much she's even shared with us um, regarding, um, you know, what they do at the, uh, the NGC in collaboration, of course, with the Migrants Resource Center in Lagos. I would employ you, um, you're watching this for the first time, you're watching it. Whenever time you get to watch, you spend some time visit them at the MRC. It's just by Ikoi, um, the passport office at Ikoi, you cannot miss it. The first gate on the left, the first gate on the left, just go in there and ask for the MRC or the NGC, you're gonna be able to get access to them, Nigeria German Center. So much they are doing there and a lot of things they're doing there is free of charge. Information you can have, skills you can acquire, knowledge you can you can share and update as the case might be. I, a couple of people um, have been with us. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, at time, Peter, um, thank you so much. Uh, Ivy, it is here. Um, Basil Ophelia, I'm sorry if I, if I hope I didn't destroy the name. Um, thank you so much for joining us as well. Um, of course, uh, of course, Olishola Onomi Adeleke, great to have you join us as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. Yes, so you're going to see the link to the YouTube channel is right there. Um, we're going to post it up on the um, our comment section. Um, we're going to post it up so that for those people who would like to. Um, 
who would like to um, you know, go to the Mac Nigeria, like what Sandra said, Mac Nigeria, you'll be able to have on YouTube, M-A-C Nigeria. We're gonna post it for those of us who would like to um, go visit and, and, um, and of course have information, information. Uh, Bisola Ara, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. I appreciate you everyone, thank you so much. Now, please ensure that you have the information. It's all about information. Information that you put to use. Acquire it and put it to use. There's so much opportunities out there that we can all benefit from. This is Wimo Consult, um, the, the, the producers of the Japa Code in partnership uh, with the Migrant Resource Center in Lagos. Um, we've had our guest with us. That's Sandra, the head of the team of the Nigerian German um, center in Lagos. Um, it's been an awesome time we've had with her. All right. Um, I'm going to just go. So for those of us who would like to get in touch with us at, um, at the center, at the, the um, at, um, at Wimo Consult, um, our details are going to be right on the screen um, shortly. I'm just going to try and uh, get those out for us um, so we can have, um, you can, um, you know, take advantage of our details and of course, reach us at any time that you are um, obliged to do so. All right, this is our details here. Wimo Consult, um, you know, uh, building capacity, deploying resources. Uh, Wimo Consult Gmail, the phone numbers, and of course, our handles on the social media platforms. Um, spend time to, um, you know, you know, reach out to us. If you have questions, you would like to find answers to as a concerns Jack code or much more. You can reach out to us. We also have trainings for carers uh, for those of us who would like to become carers um, you know healthcare assistants you want to be trained you want to go into care um, you can reach out to us on um, the on the the whatsapp number on the screen for more details um, we'll train you help you with all the documents you need to have um, to qualify as a carer and of course we'll teach you how to seek out for jobs as carers remember last week we had um, our talk last week when we spoke with uh, when we talked about the 10 uh, in demand jobs the in demand jobs out there that uh, people are looking for countries of the world are looking for some of them you don't have to um you don't have to relocate to do the job you can do the job right here some of them are on site i mean uh, hybrid jobs uh both um on offline and of course you might need to visit but some of them are also purely remote jobs we spoke about that in the Said in the um, the um, the episode we had last week. So if you haven't watched that, you need to go watch that. Top ten in demand jobs. Talk about that last week. So spend time to go and um, you know spend time to watch to watch those episodes, previous episode that we've had. Uh, yes. So it's been an awesome one. I'm super excited, and I thank you all for spending time with me today on the Jackpot Code. Next week, ah, very important. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Hey, please, oh sorry, you. Oh, eh? Happy Workers' Day to everyone who is a worker. Happy Workers' Day to everyone who is a worker. Um, it's an International Workers' Day tomorrow, May 1st. Um, some people call it the Labor Day as well. So happy Workers' Day. Please have fun tomorrow. Is day is day free for every worker all over the world. Have fun, eat some chicken, some barbecue, chop life. <laughs> you know, celebrate yourselves. Great job for every worker. We hail D, every worker all over the world. We appreciate everyone's effort. Um, and we trust that more grace your elbow, more capacity um, to do more to keep advancing, um, increasing your nations, um, advancing the course of your life, your home, your family, of course, your nation at large. It's been an awesome time. Um, thank you so much. So I'll see you again next week, um, Sunday, 5 p.m., as always, on the Jackpot Code. All right? 5 p.m., as always, on the Jackpot Code. Thank you so much, and have a blessed evening and the rest of a brand new week take care bye hello my name is yemi and i would love to invite you to join me on the jackpot code the jackpot code is your ultimate guide to legally migrating from nigeria to your dream destination if you desire to jackpot we've got you covered we'll bring you expert advice and insider tips to help you navigate the rules routes and resources required to make that dream a reality Join me this Sunday at 5 p.m. on the Wimo Network on YouTube. The Chapa Code is brought to you by Wimo Consults in partnership with the Migrant Resource Center, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment.